Oh, hello, it's me, Grandpa. I'm here on the vegetable patch. I'm going to show you, we've got, it's very exciting. We've got some cucumber ready to pick in the greenhouse. So I'll show you, we're harvesting that in a moment. It's the, what's the date today? I think it's about the 20, 28th or something like that, of June, something like that, 27th, 27th of June today, Sunday. Uh, so anyway, so I'll be picking my first cucumber. We've got loads coming, but I thought I'd show you about courgettes. I talked about female flowers and male flowers on certain plants. Now, this courgette here, you can tell this is a female flower, not by looking at the flower, but by looking there, it's got a courgette behind it. Can you see this one here? Now it's got a flower bud coming. Now that is a female flower because it's got a little baby courgette. Can you see it? But not all of them pollinate and grow into a full grown one. Now this one here, I think this one probably, I get the leaves out of the way, probably hasn't pollinated because it's gone yellow and it's going to fall off. You also have to watch because sometimes they can get rotten when they get wet on the floor. So put some straw, or just prop them up. But this one's fine. Now this here is a male flower. Can you see that hasn't got, there's lots of ants here, look. Can you see that hasn't got a little baby cause yet behind it like this one has? That's just the stalk. So what we need is we need the pollen from that male flower to fall on or to be put on by an insect, a bee or a hoverfly or a moth or something like that, or a butterfly. We need it, the pollen to be put onto the female flower to pollinate that courgette, you see. Or zucchini as they're known in most of the world, but here in England we call them courgettes. But most of the world they call them zucchini. So there we are, that's how they pollinate with the pollen from the male flower going on the female flower. Now that's going to be a nice one. Don't let them grow too big like a marrow. Keep watching because once they get like that they grow quite quickly. Well come on in the greenhouse because I got want to show you something. Now here's our cucumbers. Look at the cucumbers. Can you see them? Look. Wonderful. But before I show you that I'm going to show you this. Look. Here's the pepper. They're not very advanced, these. I don't grow them that early. Can you see the lovely flower of the pepper? Look. Now that's going to have a pepper grow, hopefully, behind there. And that is the flower there of the pepper. We've also got here flowers on the tomato plants. They will also grow. Look, oh, look, there's some baby tomatoes. Can we see this one, cameraman? Just there, there's a baby tomato. Look, our first one. A little bit later this year than I sometimes do it, but that doesn't matter, does it? I'm feeding them every week, my cucumbers and my tomatoes. Most of the plants we let with seaweed, but you can use a tomato feed. Now, I've got here, oh, I want to tell you something else. My cucumbers, cucumbers, you don't get many in a pack of seeds with cucumbers, but this year I got a pack that had five, sometimes they only have three, but I sold some. And anyway, this plant here, it's got so many on, we'll get lots and lots in July. Um, it's, it's the end of June at the moment, but we've got lots already, but we'll get lots through July. So I decided to sell a couple that I had left. I decided to sell them and see if perhaps we can get some more plants, uh, sorry, more cucumbers in, in September, August, September. Now I got one in here. I'm not going to pull the soil apart to show you, but it is starting to sprout. I sold that three or four days ago and I got another one in there. But anyway, here's my cucumbers. Look at these beautiful fruits. Aren't they beautiful? And lovely, look, and they grow so quickly. I'm going to pick this one. Now, look, I've got a very sharp knife here. Be very, very careful. Get your mums and dads to pick, uh, with, use the knife. This is a handy little tool, though, because it's got snips on it as well. So it's like a little multi-tool, and it's got a knife, and it's got those. But be very, very careful. Get mums and dads to come for it. I'm just going to go here. You can twist them and just break them off. But you have to be careful you don't damage this plant. So can you see that? Is that all right, Mr. Cameraman? So we're going to go in there and we're just going to cut that off there. And there we are. We have got a beautiful cucumber. That's not huge at the moment. They don't want to go too big because I've got more here. And I'll be giving these away to my neighbours and my friends and my family, which is lovely. That's a really nice part about uh, gardening, you see. Now, that cucumber, I wonder if you can hear it. Oh, could you hear that? Did you see it? Oh, Scott, it's really juicy. It's really crisp. That is absolutely beautiful, I'm sure it is. This is my first fresh of my own plant cucumber this year. Mm. And I'm not making that up. That is absolutely gorgeous. The reason for it, why your own crops are so good, is because I've taken that off the plant. 
I made mean, it straight away, you see. Should give it a, a rinse, but I don't use chemicals, so there's no problems like that. Um, so that is absolutely beautiful. And it's because you're having them so fresh, you see, from the garden, from the greenhouse. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my, got my cucumber bean pit. Do come back and see my other videos in the future, won't you? And have a look on my uh, on my Facebook page at Grandma Grandpa because I put lots of pictures up of my crops on there as well. And on my Instagram at Growing underscore with underscore Grandpa. Well, it's been great seeing you. Bye. Happy gardening.